<laughs> All right, um, I'm not gonna do that again because that took a while. How, How do you stay alive? alive? Photosynthesis, bro. Yeah, bro. The sun and stuff, science. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. <laughs> but if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. <laughs> That's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, so how's how's it going, my going? friend? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. I Come thought it was on, a man. beat. Give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. Yeah, I know. I think you're just trying to flatter me, because, you know, I'm not crazy at all. I, I forgot how to use my body five minutes ago. And I don't think, by the look on my face, that I remember anything that happened in the past five minutes, either. Do you know much about the Space Cadet? Who? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Godolf Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him, really. Except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. <laughs> Many blowjobs. Ah, uh, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about him at all, mate. You know, he just lives down the street with his mom. 47th on the right is dad's name is Jesus, but pff, I don't know anything about him, man. Oh, did I mention that he has a mole? On his left butt cheek? Yeah. Forgot to mention that. But I, I don't know anything about him at all. Like, he's a complete stranger. I need to know where to find him. Okay, uh, did you... Yeah, did you yeah, that one. consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drug in this, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. <laughs> Aw, man. Come on inside. Chill with the boys. Yeah, that was, that was lame. I need to know where I can find him. <laughs> well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the deets. Hook me up with the deets, man. All right, so I guess Later. I'll go find a map. Peace, bro. That's right, bro. All right, I'll see you in a minute, bro. Uh, what's... Got some nutritional sludge. Yeah, that looks pretty nutritional. Let me try this. That's the only thing almost, around here that... Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Maybe there's a postcard or something with a map That's on my it. Mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Okay, yeah, my bad. Uh, let's try and use it. Hey, look, they have new mail. I, uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Okay, I'll just carry around a mailbox. Why not? Even though that mailbox looks bigger than this mailbox, I have no idea how it got inside there. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Not sure why I keep pressing the same things, but anyways, let's uh, use it sure again. There isn't any mail left in here. Damn. All right, so let's check out the old inventory. See if there's hey, mail. There's something else in the second mailbox. Nice. Oh, a third mailbox? <laughs> I can't enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. If there's another mailbox in here, I swear to God. There's another mailbox in here. I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, bro, like, there's a postcard in here. With we're totally on the same vodka. wavelength. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs. And a 50% chance of unemployment. Ah, <laughs> yeah. The postcard map says to press the letter Is that what happened to or use the slide up menu to use guy? the map. Weird. Sweet. So there's a map. New inventory items. So I guess I should go back to Doug. And uh, see what he says about the old map there. All right, so do you mind drums, fat BTs? What do you? Okay, what I got do the map I need now. To give you again? Hit us up with some sort of map, and I'll hook you up with the dates, the space cadets. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing: don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Oh, I'd never be surprised at that. That's just normal. That's just run of the mill. That just okay. Where is it? Right there in the forest. Perfect. Let's go. How do I get there though? Is there like a? Oh, here we go. Shite. Just clicked right out of the game. There we go. Krusk's Forest 2026. Paradigm.com. 
I should go there and see what's on that site. Okay, can we go there now? To the forest. That reminds me of Jurassic Park with the crash plane and everything. Oh, there I am. Hey, buddy. Are those moon shoes? So 90s, dude. You need a pair of moon shoes. They're gonna help you jump as high as 15 feet. My friend actually had a pair of moon shoes. They were all they were cracked up to be. That's, that's that tentacle thing again. Spaceships. Hmm. I don't know about that one. That looks like something off Dragon Ball Z. Strange pod-like spaceship. All right. Let's check this thing out. Planet Love. All right, it's let's look at it. It's a rare arcade game which explains the intricacies of interplanetary love with lasers. That sounds gross, though. Okay, um... The, t the TV's not even plugged in. What about this? I don't think he'll be mad if I look at it. I don't think he is communicating with reality right now. It's a the organizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Composed like a trapper keeper. Alright, so what do we got? 220-04-2026. Cornelius F. Op... You patient drug addict. Entry 420. Yeah, no scope. You know, just because I'm a local drug addict, people think that I'm crazy. They walk past me and just consider me trash. They don't wait and consider that I'm a human being just because occasionally I'm naked, loud, or nanny, shouting my favorite 80s pop lyrics. Anyway, so far, Bagranar performance is going well. You can never go too far with this art, including taking hardcore drugs, and they say... <laughs> My art degree was useless. I'm going to be a social justice messiah after this. Yeah, no, not a, not a warrior. Actually, Jesus. A god of social justice. Alright, so let's talk. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see if we can get this floppy disk. Hello? I don't think he's communicating with reality. You. <laughs> wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. Uh, what a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. Okay, so... He seems to be paying attention to the TV, so let's... Do something with if that. If I post this online, I could probably get internet points for it. Sorry, Red Family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm. Guaranteed. You truly are a monster. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm a bit of a dick, but I need this thing so I can restart my computer. But why does he have it? That's the one thing I can't figure out. Would you happen to have a recovery disc for Derp OS 3.1? What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? What's the hottest conspiracy theories this week, Space Cadet? Uh, let's your hit this one. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as AC. What does the AC stand for? Addict chic. The real <laughs> innovators of fashion. Yep. They made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. A pleb? No, I don't think so. Alright, so... Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, how about if I get some of this... If I Sweet get this space dust. space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disc yeah. will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can yeah, you right. at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? That's the rude sandstorm. Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years? No, it is not. Uh, Man, that's, that song this? will never be not relevant. Oh, Jesus. Paradigm eats cereal. That is creepy. 
I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Darpos yes. 3.1. Give it to me. Not yeah, until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. All right, so I think if I just go back to Doug, it'll be right there, but what if Where I just ask? Where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though, for reasons I don't want to get into right now. <laughs> and then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. I'm pretty sure I could just give him a bag of pine cones and he'd be fine with it. He'd be like, this is the best moon dust I've ever tasted in my life. It is the creme de la creme. Okay. Is there a specific amount you need? Infinite, please. I don't think that's possible. If you look into your heart, Paradigm, you can do anything. Except maybe win a wire loop skill tester. And find happiness in life. Inevitably regretting your decisions upon your deathbed. Wow, this is getting really depressing super fast. Can you show me where the dealer is? If that's so simple, why don't you go yourself? Okay, if this. It's uh, that simple. Why don't you go yourself? Let's just say I had too much space dust. And let's just say I thought I was a rocket ship. And, and I, I tried crashed. to launch myself off the top of his mansion. And of course, rockets don't need claws. Anyway, now I'm not allowed to go there anymore. <laughs> okay, so can you show I'm, me I'm where I'm guessing the it's the egg plant. is at least? Yeah, all right. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here, the little house on the mountain in the middle. I don't need I think so's. I don't need maybes. I need a 100%. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh. uh I don't even want to uh, know. Then you yeah. can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of cruelty. I think I'll be okay. Original conspiracies. Did his nose yeah. just start bleeding? Want to hear about it? No, no, no. I think I'll be on my way. Long live the yeah. lizard people. <laughs> Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? <laughs> Obvious listening devices? Now... I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that you're just crazy. Can I just... Can I leave now? I just want to leave. I want to go. I want to be gone. You're all a part of a reality TV show called Paradigm's Life is Nothing But Misery and Regret. <laughs> Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys. I like that one better. Accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia. Ugly. And trendy period relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's uh change the subject. Kawa Let's change the subject to me leaving. Alright, oh no, what kind, yeah. <laughs> what kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Kurkulowitz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. I don't think you've had a face wipe in like 10 years. Alright, I'm out of here. I need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later. <coughs> I, th I thought he was having another hairball for, s well, a hairball like that sloth guy for a second there. Okay, so let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything I even need here for a while, anyway. Ooh. What 
What's going on there? There's a camera on the side of his house. I feel like there's some kind of something strange going on here. Something above my knowledge as of yet, but I will be back to figure it out. Okay, so I guess we're going to the big mansion to get some moon dust. Dude, what a tune! <laughs> Dude, it's totally rocking, man! Rock it out! Okay, everything is weird. Not a drug dealer. Biggest sign. What in the hell is that supposed to be? At this point, I really shouldn't even be asking that, but seriously, I'm out of here. I need to, I need to, I'm just gonna go on to this guy's place here. We're just gonna, all right. Just gonna, just gonna be on my way. Let's I'd go like right there. i for my Scarface fantasies. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? All right, I guess I gotta, how did I even get up in the sky anyway? I can't interact with those guys so I am not a real estate agent I'm a man <laughs> can I I'd use it to use it for my Scarface fantasies that's right I just I just did that where oh here I am where is Waldo so there let's, no let's move on consideration for my fitness at all I wish I my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal I'll never make it to the door. I need a car. Can this pigeon take me? I think he's just here for tunes. Hmm. Let's check the inventory. See what's in there. Ooh, we have vodka. He's he's not into vodka. What if I give me vodka? Vodka is always a good time. Oh wait, I'm moving now. <laughs> the longest journey in the entire world. Why? A journey that never what? ends. Would you like to proceed? Mm, make me oh, walk. God. I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. This is the worst. <laughs> you will walk and you will like it. You will enjoy it so much and you will become super fit and then you'll go to the store and you'll start buying protein shakes and you'll start calling everyone bro. And then your delts will become huge. And you're you're gonna have tennis elbow oh, from high fiving all your bros all the time. No escalator. This is because you're rocking. totally. I did not hear the cops for this. All right. Well, guess what? You're going up anyway. Like I said, you're gonna love it. I have no idea why I just made myself walk. I should have just fast travel. It's another one of those. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> Is that supposed to be the guard? Stairs. That's amazing. <laughs> cardboard bodyguard. Oh no, I can't go any further. Is this his diary? Please be the cardboard box uh, diary. It's a the organizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to oh, all cool. citizens of Krush. Cool. Alright, so it is no scam occupation real ghost. Hey you there. Yes, you. This is from my dear friend Paragay. Are you calling me gay? I'm stuck inside the dupe organizer. Please help me get out my soul. Get it get it out of here. Otherwise I'll be stuck in here for all of eternity. Just follow this link. Elgo.com and put your credit card and details in and I'll be free. Please, friend, you're my only hope. After, I'll give you my inheritance value of 330... Billion dollars? BCD straight into your checking account. I believe you, man. <laughs> I totally believe you. All right, I need some drugs. I was told that someone uh, here sold drugs and I happen to be in need of many of those things. Let's just go up to the camera. Hello. Let's, uh... This is no time to show my godlike figure and mutant booty. That mutant dupa! It's a rare CCTV bush. It receives nutrients from invasions of privacy. It's just looking at my junk right now. Alrighty, so I guess there's got to be some kind of code. 
Mm. I wonder if this works. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. Yeah, it should be able to just transfer from my thoughts. I have some cookies. <laughs> That's a bad intro. I was hoping to get something for my back pain. I would like a burger side of life-changing third eye-opening drugs. I would like yeah. a burger uh, with a side of life-changing third eye-opening drugs. Damn. Now how am I supposed to write my deep and hard-hitting prog metal album? I know. It's impossible to write any type of screamo if you don't have some third eye-opening drugs. I would like to purchase I some space like dust. I would like to purchase some space dust? Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! <laughs> he won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit, and it just never annoying. closes. You're gonna need stitches. And you're gonna need glue. You're gonna need everything. Um... I'm a part of a fat gangster hip-hop group. I'm a part of a fat gangster hip-hop group. Yeah. Prove it. You wanna hear my beatsies? Yeah. You wanna Come hear these sick-ass yeah. beatsies, yo? I'm a rap guy, and I rap, and I rap, rap, and, and I'm rap, here to get some drugs. Guy. I'm gonna and, and, uh, give uh, you a bomb-ass uh, hug. Uh, and I'm gonna show you my pet pug. I don't believe you. Aw, oh, damn it. What if I'm definitely a policeman? I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm. Maybe you are right. Yeah, well, they get, they get pretty bad after that, not gonna lie. Look at me. How could I be anything but someone who wants drugs? My life Look is depressing. Me. Do you think I could even run after I just a want Fat policeman to die. Paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait. Do you think I'm fit? Who are you calling fat, you fat piece of shit? I am not a cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? These are not the droids you're looking for. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Come on, moon him. Moon him. Sorry, I was supposed to do something that proved I was not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did. <laughs> I see. <laughs> all right already. You were Sheesh. top of the class. This is going nowhere. I tell you what, if you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? <laughs> not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell I out of here. I could go to prison for that, man. Please Jesus place Christ. back here. I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't he thinks he's all super cool. Passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. Ibeski, that's I awesome. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. How do you I passive aggressively deal with a fly? The junkyard and or butt observatory. <laughs> Definitely going to the butt observatory. Where's the butt observatory? Butt observatory is first on my list. There was some local decapitations today. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some butt decapitations. All right, so we got Paradigm's room. We got Paradigm's shop. We got the junkyard. Not a drug dealer's house. Damn it! There's no butt shop. I was lied to! I de there it is. Butt shop. Perfect. Hey, mate. It's me, John 3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. Someone blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I wonder who did anyway, that? I'm tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound wash or something, mate. Super bonds are hot. I have no idea what he's talking about. 
a super bison. Crazy who can't stand in the down under. Crazy. Insane, dude. Sounds of love and passion. Okay, all right, all right, this is gross. Can, gross. Can you please leave me alone? Yeah, Goodbye. Right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Mm -hmm. That's bad news, brothers, man. Explosion beep Whoa. sound. Okay, John, oh, shut up. What? It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to cyber with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. Wait, he actually... What? He actually blew up? This is insane. Damn. Bad. I didn't... I can live. <laughs> <laughs> this is just fine. Oh, God, what just happened? Everything's okay. Just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. You won't get it, mate. Cheers. Alright, so this is the butt observatory, not a butt store. Alright, cool. So many disappoints. <laughs> they call this the launch pad. Walk the plank. All right, so there's there's nothing here. I, I think I'll look through these real quick. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. <laughs> Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. He's better than anyone. Don't touch. Political satire. <laughs> I wonder why every single time you go to, like, an observatory or just, like, an old abandoned area, there's always, like... Graffiti of political things or something. Go in the butt. You can't touch it, but you can go inside. In the butt. Okay, so next, I guess we're gonna go to the junkyard. What? <laughs> in the name of God. Oh wow! It's an incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like he's so cheesy. Get some sort of message from me. It is junk mail. Sorry, Pepe Airplane Bird. I had to open you up. I'm going to kill you. And look at your insides. They will tell me the future. The paradigm. Your life is a medium of rare danger. Someone is after you. We're organizing a rescue. Hold tight. Pags Rebels. P.S. You give me some critiques on my vague warning message skills at fightsclubmovieaol.com and I'm a paid intern, Pags Rebels, full-time rebel. Much appreciated. Cool. I'll totally do that, man. I will visit that site and do that just for you. So this is a superhero, I guess. Yeah, the Cone. He thinks he's the protector of cones, but uh, he's just batshit crazy. Welcome, non-cone-based humanoid, to my cone domain. Domain. I thought he was going to be like the protector of roads. The sanctuary of white lines. You know, something something a little more monologue-y and not so, like, quick or whatever. Wig-wearing mannequin. Hey, let's go inside of his house. What are you hiding back there, Mr. Cone? What do you got in there? There is an old crush proverb. Never enter the home of a man who wears no pants. That is a good proverb. I am just gonna be on my way and <gasps> a hat. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Oh, I'm gonna yes. take this. I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now I just need a head and I think I'm gonna take that one. Mm. I could use this for the police head. However, I don't want to find out what the cone has in his bum bag if I try anything. Hands off me, you terrible, terrible man. Step away <laughs> from my wife. When I thought um, you could get any weirder, there we are. Yeah, he got just a little weirder. So can I, like, distract him or something? Can I use this? 
Hopefully it works and I can just pick him up and hold him there. You would think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone, especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him. Mm. But it's most definitely not. Why not? Does it, does it not work or something? Um. Oh, there's a camera there. Let's see, we got a busted washing machine. That's not really a solution. A used syringe. Well, well, let's pick that up. Might as well take it. Apparently, I can't take it. Come on, take it. I'm sure it might be handy to contract a life-threatening disease. But to be honest, I think it would just weigh me down. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's exactly what I thought. What if I take the arm? If it was a cyborg arm, yes. I would pick it up. I could I could take the arm like it's okay so I gotta find a way to get rid of the cone but I'm not seeing anything immediately in front of my face what about this conveniently hey, placed bag this of is actually my trash bag it's 80% full of cereal boxes 20% of self-loathing <laughs> um so I can't use the crane can't use that can't use that can't go in there I think I'm just gonna have to get out of here for now and I'm gonna have to come back Later. Later, dude. I'll be back. Paradigm Shop. That's the only place I haven't visited yet. Oh, jeez. And what in the name Someone of God is that my dog? Door and window. Igorsky, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? Ruff. God damn it. You're so hideously cute. I could never <laughs> stay mad at you. Ruff. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous. Courteous dick. His leash isn't even on him. What is up with that? And why is he on a tarp anyway? At least he's an obedient dog. He's such a pug, too. They're just so ugly that they're actually cute. Paradigm Ep. Um, we got a generator. Let's check this thing out. Let's look at this. It's a radio that they managed to get working finally. Too bad there are only like three stations. One that is, is a regular music station. Mega balls. The second is just hours upon hours of some neurotic guy narrating everything around him. The third is 24/7 advertisements. It pays and for the other two channels. On the radio. Not much at all. Uh, how do you change the channel? This one. Nothing. Welcome to Common Dream. Radio, 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 radio. Welcome to Comana. Taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion. Eventually leaving you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter. And then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Haha, <laughs> enough about me. Let's get into the advertisements. <laughs> hey there, Billy. Do you like video games? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my like oh my god. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, that was so good. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. That is, this game is awesome. I am definitely going to keep going with it. It is everything I was waiting for. I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Probably around the same time. Adios.